1981, a gang of actors set out on a mission to present new and unconventional plays to, to promote creativity and self-expression for everyone from children to the incarcerated. The Actors Gang's latest production, a reinterpretation of the 1921 satire Methuselah or the Internal Bourgeois, is playing now through December 16th in Culver City. Oscar winner Tim Robbins is a co-founder and artistic director of the Actors Gang. Brent Hinckley is a founding company member and director of Methuselah. Both of them with us live now. Good Thanks evening. Great to see you guys. Thanks nice. for being here. Thanks for um, having us. Obviously, we want to talk about this exciting new show, but an exciting time for the whole industry with the SAG after strike ending last night. Your take, how you feeling tonight? I'm very pleased that uh, actors are going to be back at work and that all the crew members and all the people that make a living off of show business are going to get back to work. Finally. Your, th your, your thought. thoughts. Uh, yes, it's been a long time coming, mm -hmm. and I think uh, negotiations have like finally met uh, a spot where we can move on and go forward. Okay, Absolutely. well, let's move on and talk about Methuselah, right? It, it, because the storyline, as we mentioned, it's, it was first written in 1921, 1922. Uh, there's a strike involved, isn't there, Tim? Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a strike. Uh, Methuselah is a, owns a, 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 a shoe factory, and uh, he's the, 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 what the, the play is centered around. Uh, he's the oldest man in the world and the richest man in the world. And he's got a daughter that's unfortunately in love with the, one of the strike leaders. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's, it's a very, very funny play. It's also uh, got scenes that are truly bizarre and surreal. And that's kind of the reason I love the play. We did it back in 1985, right. uh, and Brent was in it, and now Brent is directing this new production. And the director back in 1985, what did you think of him? Because that was, oh, of course, Tim directed uh, it back in 1985. Yeah, he was some young spark plug. I yeah. didn't believe a word he said. It was all <laughs> highfalutin, and, and yeah. uh, he was P.T. Barnum. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the circus was created. How does, your, we, how does your directing style compare to his directing <laughs> style of this show? Well, I'm the bad cop, and he's the good cop. <laughs> Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. And what can people expect, of it, given that you did this in 19, the mid-1980s, and now what's the difference? Well, Why now? Why well, did you choose to revive it? Well, oddly enough, it's more relevant now than it was then, and it was relevant then. Uh, it's a, a kind of classic play in that way. It's not well known, and it's not pr pretty much never done. But that's the kind of plays we love to do at the Actors Gang, mm -hmm. is unearth these little gems from the past mm -hmm. and give them new life in this new time. And for people that haven't seen the Actors Gang before, can you tell us a little about what you guys do and what it's all about? Uh, we run around like madmen <laughs> and women for an hour and a half of your lives and try to bring you in to our world of lunacy where topics in the moment are addressed. Okay. Yeah. Well, you went to UCLA. Did. And you were, you were struggling to become an actor, and then this one here gave you a shot. What's this relationship like? <laughs> well, I went to UCLA, too. I was a couple of years uh, older than Brent, and I, I cast him in a play at UCLA. And then we uh, did this production of this play called Ubu the King at UCLA, and it was very successful there. So I brought it, when I graduated, I brought it out into the L.A., theater scene, and that was in 1982, and uh, it became a huge hit, ran for six months, and um, got these great reviews, and that began the Actors Gang. And, and speaking of the 80s, you just brought back the cast from the original performance of this show yes. just recently to see it now. What was that night like? It How was, did that go? It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, I, I saw some people I hadn't seen for quite a long time. Also, on the same night, um, there's a, a Chicago company that did it a few years after us, and, and th that cast was there as well. So um, we, we, we love these gatherings. We love having the opportunity in this time to gather people in a room and to get them to share an experience together, share emotion together, to laugh together. Uh, it's, you know, a, a, such a gift, a, a, a real blessing. 
Yeah. And uh, we've been doing it for 41 years, and uh, so we must be doing something right. I right. think so. <laughs> uh, but this one is great, and the crowds are coming, the reviews are great, and so I wanted to come here to share it with you guys. And Good. hopefully you guys out there will come on down the action. Well, let's put up the information on the screen so people can. Methuselah is running now through December 16th at the Actors Gang Theater in Culver City. You can get your tickets at the Actors Gang. Tim Robbins and Brent Hinckley, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having Absolutely. us. Absolutely.